welcome after this broadcast your life will never remain the same god bless you this is the prophet apostle king favor signing today i want to release a revelation a word that i believe is going to change your life and i believe after viewing this message today your life will never remain the same call your friends call your neighbors call everyone around you tell them the prophet is on the screen right now by the special grace of god break your bibles with me to the book of first peter chapter 2 verse 11 the bible says i beseech you as strangers and as pilgrims listening to me the bible said we are in this world but we are not of the world what guarantees you to to appear as a stranger is your ability to carry the identity of where you are coming from into where you are going to but unfortunately in the world today we see many people that when they get into a strange land they begin to act like those in that land listen to me the bible says we are in this world but we are not of the world so every girl in the world is dressing half naked, putting on half naked bra, walking on the street does not mean that a daughter of Zion should dress like that. What makes you different is the identity you carry. You are not of the world, you are a daughter of Zion. Listen to me, everyone in this world may be tricking and deceiving people, but what makes you different is that you are a son of Zion. You carry a unique identity. You carry the identity and the locus of heaven. You carry the logo of heaven that every year you go to, you must represent where you are coming from. He said to that beseech you as strangers. That is to say, don't forget where you are coming from. The fact that you are here does not mean that you are of this place. Don't forget where you are coming from. Don't forget that you are a pilgrim. Listen to me, a pilgrim means somebody on a journey. You are passing through a phase where you are. You are passing through a phase where you are seeing all forms of immorality. It does not mean you should become immoral yourself. Understand that you are you are embarking on a journey that at the end of the journey there is a price. Listen to me. One of the things the devil uses to disqualify Christians is to work on their minds to believe that they are part of a system. You are not part of the worldly system. Be different. This journey, this pilgrimage that you have embarked on, there is a price, there is a crown. The Bible said, I am coming on the last day with a reward to give to everyone according to his work shall be. So there is a reward for you. Be, be a reward conscious Christian. Understand that there is a crown on your head that needs to be preserved. As if you don't preserve your crown, you may lose your head. Listen to me. Bible said in the book of the same first Peter chapter 2 verse 11 it said flee from fleshly from fleshly lust that war against your soul flee away from fleshly lust don't lost like the world don't be yoked like the world don't be don't fall into sin like the world don't go after ladies like the world don't go after men don't live your life like everyone else don't live your life to us today i love to pray with you i love to take you back to that rugged cross to that place of salvation that you may have missed it write to us today locate us on facebook and on youtube follow this ministry by the special grace of god subscribe to our youtube platform and god will richly bless you this is the prophet apostle king favor signing god bless you Rake supalatea rato kokoto zekita pakasea zeta mendo emperados rete palayande shata imponana reke toko sukatana kataka belekate susuzuke ketoko rate tata tata locate us on 